Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to work on a small mini project and this project is specifically for beginners. Those guys who are trying to learn Java by doing some kind of practicals, right? So this project is for you. So today we are going to work on a digital clock and this digital clock is going to be as modern as possible. So I'm going to use one library which is going to give it a good looking UI interface, right? So this is going to be a standalone application, GUI, uh, not a web application, right? So I have already created the code for this so that I can give you a demo and I will run this code. But before we do that, if you are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, let please do and let's see what this application looks like. Okay, so this is the code and I'll just run this. So here you can see that, um, let me minimize this also. Here you can see that this digital clock is a good looking uh, user interface, right? And it provides us a digital font also so that we can see that this um, some somehow relates to our um, real, re reality uh, or real um, digital clock, right? And there is no close button and it it means that we tends to keep this here and somehow it looks like that this is set to the wallpaper right so so that's what uh, a good ui does right so this is what we have to make so i'll make this mini project from scratch and to do that i'll delete my already existing one and i will explain each and every step and which is going to ultimately increase the video length but if you tend to learn something then you have to watch this entire video because i will be as descriptive as possible right so let's create a new project and this project is going to be a maven project why because we have to add a dependency and that dependency is related to our good user interface right i'll talk more about that but first let's create a clock project okay so hit finish open pom.xml and here we have to add the dependency so uh, okay so this is the U, uh, UI interface which I was talking about as you can see here uh, there are few kind of uh, interfaces uh, like theme you can say one is your normal looking theme and another one is dark one and there is this third one which is contrast so it looks really good right and this is what we are going to use and to add this dependency we just have to download the jar so i'm not using the tra traditional way of downloading the jar rather i'm just going to add this dependency so that maven is going to do that for me right and it's safe also so we should always try to add maven dependencies right so let's see if okay so it's building that means that we will see it here right now what we have to do is we have to create an application window so we will do window here we will create a package um, let's say project and here digital clock okay now uh, let's wait for it so um, when we see the default implementation in Eclipse, it looks like this. It comes up here, not at the center, and it has this very bad looking title bar. So let's do that first. Or we can do it later also, but now we have talked about it, so let's do that. So if we do uh, frame dot undecorated as true, by default it is false, then it will remove the title bar, which we don't need and to make it center we have to do set location relative to so we don't want the frame location relative to any anything so that's why it is going to be null so now um, okay i missed one bracket so now if we run this 
so you can see that the frame now has no title bar and it's it, it is coming at the center which is good and that's it now let's come to the design okay so what do we need first let's talk about that so we need three component in our clock hour minutes and seconds some digital clock have time also but uh, we don't want to be uh, complex in that sense right we just want to be simple so that we can uh, learn uh, as a beginner right so to add three components hour minute and second i'm going to use text field which is like the most commonly used component when we talk about swing right so we will add that but first let's increase the frame size in a sense so that it can hold on to these three text field right so five so i have the measurement already with me and these are very specific because i want my ui to be looking good as it was previously so that's why i will be using those same measurement but you can increase or decrease according to your comfort comfortability right so this is this is the frame size that we have to use now let's come to design so it will look a bit bigger and now what we have to do is first we have to set the layout to absolute layout and then we will add a panel so panel is i think a major thing in swing because uh, you need to add it so that you can group your components right there can be many panels throughout a frame uh, so that so we need only one panel but it still uh, looks good conventionally that we are using j panel so now let's come down to measurement okay now it's set now what we have to do is uh, let me increase this a bit now what we have to do is we have to add three text field right so let's do that so first let's uh, do set layout to absolute layout now let's come down to text field i'll add them anywhere because i have the measurement with me so i don't have to bother now let add me uh, now now we have to just change the measurement here bounce okay so we have our text component now one thing to notice is that this has a border right so we don't need a border in our clock also one more addition is that this field is editable right now and we don't want that so if if a user s somehow clicks on it it should not have that you know icon uh, to edit so we will uncheck this for each of the component and now we will remove the border okay so now we cannot see our component but we know they are there right so we'll add a text also so that we can see them in case we want to see the ui so i'll just add 06 here or we can um, we can not do this right now we can uncomment this later on when we are done with the ui right so you can see that uh, we have the text we will work on the font later but one thing that we have to do is we have to make it to center okay so this is done now we have to add colon here uh, which signifies the separation so we will choose j label here right so now let me change this to center also and change the measurement okay so measurements are done now let's see um, oh we forgot to do one thing colon right okay so now we just have to add the font so that we can complete our ui so 
what I have done is I have downloaded a zip file of font digital 7 and you can google this simply you will be able to find a lot more digital font but I chose this one you can also use this but you have a lot of options if you want so when you unzip you will see these kind of files I only need the simple one so I'll just drag it to my clips to the resources okay now I just have to add this to create a font okay so after my frame is done I'll just do font dot so here I will just put the name of the font file so so it's digital hyphen seven dot t t f okay so it must be throwing an exception so we will do try catch and copy this okay looks good now we just have to add this font to each of our component so as you can see here I have chosen the size 100 and it, it as bold right so it, it, it will be visible if the size is small but we have to make it bigger because the frame is small right so let's copy this line okay now let's do the same for label okay so fonts are done let's see so now we can remove the border if we want right because everything is good so I'll just uncomment these lines right now what we have to do is we have to make this work so to do that I will be using uh, a concept called as multi threading but here we will not create multiple thread uh, rather only one because that would suffice our requirement so here what we need is we need a constructor uh, through which we are going to create an object of this class and this object is going to get created using our digital clock object right here we will make so we need this because we want to set our minutes and seconds value of those uh, text field right so we have to set them and that's why we need digital clock instance here so we can do uh, we don't need to initialize uh, is l capital here it is here we can do this dot dc equals to dc now we can call our start method and this will indirectly uh, directly but we won't see that uh, call the run method what's wrong with this oh I forgot to extend the thread class right now it's good now we need an infinite loop because clock runs indefinitely right so now what we need is we will use the date class to get the date instance and this is how we will get the date and time and then we will separate uh, the date and the time from the date and time <laughs> it's confusing but it's like we are getting the time where we have the date also and the time also but we just need time so we need to get that part and then we have to separate that time in our minutes and seconds and then we have to set it independently right so let's do that here uh, you need to remember one thing when you have to import use java.util not sql so we have the date now we just have to format it so we will use simple date format here
here we are using the obvious format now we have to format this so we will call format method and here we will provide date so we uh, we now have the date in the formatted format so here we will get a string so we will do string uh, format date let's do right now we have to print this we can print it and you will see uh, like a separation of 16 colon 25 colon uh, double zero something like that right so we know we have to split it so to split we will use split method and we will split using colon delimiter and here what we will get is we will get a string array that will be our date array now we have to set each text field so what we will do is we will use dc instance dc dot now we cannot call them because they might be uh, private yep so we can remove them or you can do do as protected both the things will work uh, right so let's do dc dot now you can see then set text and here we will do the first item of this array so zero let's copy this one two three one two okay so this is done now what we have to do is we just have to call this constructor clock thread using this as in dig digital clock instance right now let's run this so as you can see it's working fine right now let's check uh, change the UI so uh, we were talking about flat LAF so it comes with by default it comes with two a uh, good uh, theme which is Dracula LAF and this um, where is this light LAF right and if you need more then you have to use this class uh, IntelliJ theme to import them so I will use that so here uh, in the documentation they have uh, used this method install but it is deprecated as you can see so we have to use setup instead so now what we will do is we will do digital clock dot class dot resource as stream now right now we don't have our theme here so I'll just go to my desktop and open this folder digital clock and drag this so I have already chosen my theme you can choose yours whatever seems appropriate and then import it to your project and then add it here so it's dark contrast dot theme dot json okay now let's try to run this cool so it's working fine and this was the entire code that we have to wrote and uh, I hope if, if uh, everything was fine till here um, you won't have any questions but if you have any questions you can ask me uh, the comment section is always available and so am I so uh, I will end this video here till and I, I hope we will meet in the next one till then have a good day stay safe and bye bye